Nirupaben, you had a question. I want to understand, is there any uh, exploration activity going on all around? Because even if there is some exploration today, it takes maybe 10, 15 years for the mine to commence production. From what we saw, you only mentioned the Angola mine. Luel, which will come on a stream with four or five million carats. I think it's all. Are we seeing uh, the uh, that there is no force in foreseeable future? We are not going to see any natural diamond mine coming up. Yeah, it's a good question. Thanks for that. So, if we just look at just pure exploration spend on diamond projects, it's probably 10 percent of what it was 10 years ago. So it's down 75, 80, 90 percent. And again, that's a function of, of diamond prices. And I mean, most of the, the easiest, you know, most successful diamond mines have already been mined out. The, the easy money has been made. So um, all the future deposits have some sort of complication, and, and that's why they haven't been put into production yet. So they need a higher price to make the economics work. So that's the most important way to look at that. So if prices go higher, you will see exploration uh, increase. And you're right, even if a discovery is made, it could take 10, 15 years to bring it online. What's going to happen before a new mine coming online is one of the existing mines that's been suspended, put on care and maintenance, will be brought back online. That's easier to turn a mine that's suspended back on if prices recover, and that's where the bulk of, of supply would come from.